I'll try to make this haul as fast as I can. Uh, got a lot to show you. This is my Gen Con haul. Some of this came before Gen Con, some of it came after because I cut off my haul videos. Let's begin. I got some single issues, not too much at Gen Con. It's not that kind of con. Um, older stuff. I got Secret Wars number 12 from the original Secret Wars series. Um, Advanced Dungeons and Dragons number 25. These were all I got for a reasonable price. Let's see. Web of Spider-Man 78. Um, Web of Spider-Man 102. These aren't in the best condition. This one's a Maximum Carnage tie-in. I had to pick that up. Let's see, next. Spectacular Spider-Man 193. Covers folded over. That's irritating. Let's see here. Uh, Spider-Man Unlimited. Let's see, I'll show you this one first. Spider-Man Unlimited number three. These are heavy books. Really hefty. These were $3.95 back in the day. Jeez. And Spider-Man Unlimited number five. So that's cool. Next to um, the New Teen Titans number ten. And number... 12. I don't know. It seemed pretty cool to me. Plus, I kind of been getting into Teen Titans, so... Might as well. Alright, let's get into the paperback books. I don't have that many to show you. Some of these, a couple of these Mac gave me at his house. He gave Dylan and me some stuff. Because if you visit him, and you're cool like us, you get shit. So, let's begin. This I got right before, uh, I want to say immediately after my last haul. Which is X-Wing Book 7 Solo Command. It's in pretty good condition. This is Book 7 in the X-Wing series. It's done by Aaron Alston. So that means I only have three of those left to collect. Next two are both by Tim Levin of Star Wars Infamy. But these are part of his Rage War event. It's Book Book one, Predator Incursion. And book two, Alien in Invasion. And the next one's AVP Armageddon, which doesn't come out till next month. Next next to Matt got us, gave me had a copy of Empire Strikes Back in paperback. That's cool. And Next, the last of the paperbacks that aren't kids' books. This is the annotated screenplays. What a weird one! I didn't know this existed. It's the original trilogy screenplay. I'm going to be. I'm going to read that and guffaw a little bit. All right. Moving on to kids' books. I'm going to be the envy of a lot of you Star Wars collectors because I got all of them. Junior Jedi Knights, number one, the Golden Globe. Book 2, Lyrics World. These are all in really good condition. Book 3, Promises. Book 4, Anakin's Quest. Book 5, Vader's Fortress. And lastly, Book 6, Kenobi's Blade. And that's all of Junior Jedi Knights. For you. Um, been really cool. Oh, these, some of these were supposed to come before my last haul, but there was a mix-up. So, these are the last of the Fire and Stone singles that I was missing. AVP Fire and Stone number four. Predator Fire and Stone number two. Three. And four. And lastly, Prometheus Omega. One shot. Which concludes. So now I can do those Fire and Stone reviews I've been needing to do for a year. Alright, let's get into more books. This is a cool one I found at my work. 
It's Empire Strikes Back. It's the first print sci-fi book club hardcover. I've never seen this before. But that's a cool cool one to collect. Uh, next next four are Terry Brooks Shannara books. This is from the next series of Shannara books after you finish the Sword of Shannara trilogy, the original. This is the Heritage of Shannara. It's a, f a quadrilogy, and I have books three and four here. And this is book three, The Elf Queen of Shannara. These are old. I really like these covers from the Heritage series. They're my favorite of the um, Shannara covers. Because the first trilogy, they're a little goofy looking until you get to the Wish Song. And uh, later, they just get boring looking. And then there's book four of Heritage, which is the Talisman of Shannara. One of my f this is probably my favorite cover of this whole series. That's so awesome looking. That's the Talismans of Shannara. And lastly, the prequel to the Sword of Shannara, which is the first king of Shannara. And lastly, this one, I had never heard of this series. This is the High Druid of Shannara, Jackus Rus. I'd never heard of this one. There's a few of these High Druid in the High Druid series. I don't know if it's a trilogy or what, but that's cool to have. These came out much later. Next three are Dragonlance. This is from the first this is from the War of Souls trilogy, which kind of brought fans back after what happened with the second generation and how that upset everyone. This is Dragons of a Fallen Sun. And I have the second book of this trilogy, and that's Dragons of a Lost Star. I do not have Dragons of a Vanquished Moon yet. And lastly, for the Dragonlance ones, I got The Lost Chronicles Volume 1, which is Dragons of Dwarven Depths. This takes place between the first two Dragonlance books. He explains a few things. Alright. And then Matt also gave me this Star Wars scrapbook. It's, it's a fun little trinket to have. But now you're like... Okay, time for Gen Con haul. But, I got some video games. Got two N64 games. Star Wars Shadows of the Empire. And Star Wars... Oh, not Star Wars. This is Turok 2, Seeds of Evil. Both are fun games. I mean, this one looks more fun. I've never played this one personally. I played this one. I love this one. But, everyone loves this game, so I got it for a couple bucks. So, yeah. Now I need an N64. Alright. Well, before we get into that... Actually, I'll... I'll show you the board games I got first. I bought three board games this year. And I will start off with the first one I bought, which was Zombies 3rd Edition. Zombies is a really fun board game. This one, the only difference between it and the first two editions is that it has different types of zombies instead of just one type. That's pretty much it. It's a fun game. There's 14 expansions for this. The 15th one coming out next year. Um, I actually talked with the creator of Zombies, the um, owner of Twilight Creations. So that was cool. And I got three promo cards with it that are exclusive to Gen Con. There. There are five that came out, but I only got three of them. And next, I got the X-Wing Miniatures game from Fancy Flight. Been wanting this game for a long time, and I finally broke down and bought it at the convention. Waited in line for like an hour, and got a hold of it. And lastly, I got I got one of the most popular games at Gen Con. And don't laugh because this game is fantastic. It's called Here Kitty Kitty. It's a, you take cats from the neighborhood. And you try to get them in your house. You can steal other people's cats. You can make cats run away. It's it's just a really fun game. I also they also gave me two. I got a card called the Milkshake card. It is a game breaking card. It's hilarious. And it was a it's an exclusive to Gen Con. And this one's open because we played it there. Uh, let's see next. That's some Gen. I got some dice. 15 dice in there, I do believe, yeah. 
These are bigger than your standard dice, and they roll pretty well. Alright, <clears throat> let's get into RPG books here. Some of these Matt gave me, others I bought at the convention. They're intermixed with each other here, so... Uh, well, I'm going to get into... I'll show you this one first. This is Age of Rebellion, Forged in Battle. It has not come out yet. It's for the Age of Rebellion RPG game, Fantasy Flight. So I am one of the first people to get this. That's awesome. Alright, and then there's one more I'll show you before I get into the West End game stuff. This is a Wizards of the Coast book. I've almost bought this so many times. This is the New Jedi Order supplement. It has a template for the Vong, I do believe, in here. And some really cool stuff. So yeah. Wizards of the Coast, not as popular as what I'm about to show you. Which are... Some of these... I'm going to attempt to show you what Matt gave me as opposed to what I bought. Alright, Matt gave me this one. This is Classic Adventures Volume 5. I think he this is one he gave me. Which has Starfall, Strike Force. Stantipole and the Game Chambers of Questel. And these are adventure journals, reprints, I believe. So those are fun to have. These next two I got, these are both part of the Dark Strider campaign. The Cathol Riff. And the Cathol Outbreak, both of our Dark Strider, so I have half of the Dark Strider campaign. Next, I bought this there. This is another Classic Adventures, Volume 4, which has, which is just like one story. This is a Best of Adventure Journals, as opposed to, that one's just certain quests or something. So this is more story, and more narrative. Next, I bought this there. This is the Guide to the Galaxy number 11, Criminal Organizations. These are really cool to have. I've got several of these. I also bought this one. This is the first Guide to the Galaxy, and it's the New Hope supplement. And Matt gave me this one, which is the Return of the Jedi one. Let's see here. What do I want to show next? Let's see this one. Nice. Matt gave me this one. This is Classic Adventures. This classic adventures, uh, which has the politics of contraband and the abduction of crying Don Singer. These are really cool to have because they collect multiple different supplements in here. Always fun to have. Another one Matt gave me, uh, Guide to the Galaxy number 10, Bounty Hunters. Awesome. And then, let's see, what do I want to show first? I'll show this one. This is the cream of the crop man gave me, which is the Thrawn Trilogy Supplement. It has all three of Timothy Zahn's books in here. And these are just really cool. If you want to play the adventure from the books, you can. If you want to go off and do your own thing. It just gives a little extra information on things. Next two are in hardcover. And I bought these at the convention hall. And this is uh, Shadows of the Empire. Source book. And I got Dark Empire. Source book. Now I don't know if this collects all three Dark Empire stories. Or if they only ever did the first one. But it was a cool one to get. And it was in hardcover so I had to pick it up. Yeah. Uh, now we get into things that were signed. And there were a few. Here, sorry. It's a mess over here. But we'll get into this. So I took two books I already had to sign for Dave Wolverton. And this is Jedi Apprentice, The Rising Force. And yeah, he signed it. And also, Courtship of Princess Leia. Signed that one. Yeah. That was cool. 
It was cool to meet him. But Margaret Weiss was there, and I didn't know. Otherwise, I would have brought some of those hardcovers for her to sign. But she, my goodness, she signed so much of my stuff. It was insane. Well, first, I'll show you this one. I found this one at a used booth. And it's the Black Talon, which is part of the Dragonlance Orc Titans trilogy. This is the first book. That was cool. And she just... She was so nice. I talked to her three times during the convention. And each time was just really, really cool. So I got her to sign a bunch of stuff I didn't have. Because, might as well. Uh, we'll start off with, I got Dragons of a Summer's Flame. Which is kind of book four in the Dragonlance Chronicles series, but it's not. It's just, it's a follow-up to that. Let me see if she, gets, she signed that. Next, the con one of the most controversial fantasy books ever, Dragonlance The Second Generation, which is more of a sequel to that. Signed. Which they, oh, if you think R.A. Salvatore got a bad for killing Chewbacca off. Second generation, you have no idea what Margaret Weiss and Tracy Hickman went through. That was, yeah. And these ones are just written by Margaret Weiss. These are the Dark Disciples trilogy. This is book one, Amber and Ashes. Let's see here. Signed. And book two, Amber and Iron. And I have no idea what these ones are about. And that's signed. And then lastly, this one's a different printing. And this is Amber and Blood. And what do you know? Also signed. And lastly, she signed one more thing for me that I didn't buy at her booth. And that was the Dragonlance campaign setting. This is a I think this is for 3rd edition or 3.5 edition dandy. I am not sure. But yeah, that's signed by her. And they were all, they were like, wow, I haven't seen this in a long time. Uh, so, that was cool to get. These are some of my prized possessions. I wish I would have known that she was going to be there. I would have brought more. Wouldn't have to buy so much. Plus those hardcovers will look really nice with her signing them. Really cool. Talk to her about a few things that we will discuss on Star Wars Legends about her st her attempt to write a Star Wars book. So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this haul. I know I did. Have a nice day. And I hope you enjoyed the can rants that came out. It was really fun to make. Later.